Hi, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. My name is Koja Kuna and I'm an artist, I'm a teacher, I love to draw and since you're here, I guess I could say you love to draw too. So let's do that today. And today I will be using a Lamy Safari pen, which is an old time favorite, but you can use any kind of tool you like. And once more, here's my subject again, that little tube. Okay, I promise it's the last one. Uh, next week I will draw something different. But again, my point is that it doesn't matter what you draw, it really matters that you are drawing. Allow yourself the time to sit down and have some fun in your sketchbook. This time I am going to see how I can hatch my way through my subject. Let's go. I am using a Lamy Safari pen with a broad nib. I think today I want to focus a little bit more on how to capture the shadows with lines. So I am going to use hatching lines. See how that works out. First I am drawing the contour and the outline of the tube and then I am going to look at the shadows that I see. And I'm not going to go crazy with the hatching, I'm just going to find the darkest bits and then I will follow the curves that I see and my hatching will be following those curves as well to indicate the direction of the shape. What I could do if the shadows are really dark, I could do cross hatching, but actually I feel like that would really muddy things up with a drawing that isn't that big. So I am keeping it really, really simple here. And for the drop shadow, I am going to darken that by using just simple parallel lines, which also is basically hatching. And I want to emphasize the shading a little bit with just a little bit of watercolor. And this is indigo that I am using. And because I am a little bit impatient, the ink hasn't dried quite yet. So the watercolor is mixing a little bit here and there with the ink, but I kind of like that. It bleeds into each other a little bit and that makes it feel kind of organic. I am just doing really light touches at the areas that I see as the darkest areas because I don't want to color this whole thing in. I really want to use the white of the paper to also use highlights and also show that it's a white tube. And so in just about five minutes, I did a drawing of the tube that has become quite familiar by now. But yet again, I really enjoyed doing a drawing of just anything. You just need a little time to do something that gives you a lot of fun. Maybe you want to draw the same subject again too, or choose something completely different. As long as you challenge yourself a little bit and just really have fun with whatever tool you choose and whatever thing you are drawing. So um, enjoy. I will see you next week. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Also check out my Patreon page and check out my website to find out about the workshops that I am teaching. Um, anything else? Not for now. I'll see you next week. Bye.